Hello everyone, I'm Tom Slybick. Welcome to TSPN's News for Today. Let's take a look at our stories. A key pump that draws water from Lake Taboo into the Amador Canal failed due to mechanical problems in late December. The open ditch canal, largely replaced by Amador Water Agency's transmission pipeline in 2007, continues to serve untreated water to about 100 Amador Water Agency customers and is the sole source of water for about 60 homes. The Amador Water Agency directors got a news of the pump failure at the regular board meeting. It was last Thursday, January 10th. And Amador Water Agency General Manager Gene Mancibo said crews were able to get water flowing again by using nearby PG&E equipment that was shut down when the transmission pipeline was built. PG&E immediately offered support by allowing use of a mothballed pump station at Lake Taboo so we could get water to our customers. Some were without water for a couple of days, said Mancibo. This is just a temporary arrangement until we can get another pump installed. Agency crews are preparing to replace the failed 1970s era pump with a used pump the agency owns at a cost of about $5,000. Mancibo is also in talks with PG&E about the possibility of continued use of the PG&E pump station as a backup for the system. The long-term proposed solution for this problem is a small pipeline that will run in or along the canal and will eliminate pumping at Lake Taboo. The agency has completed a section of this pipeline along Ridge Road but it's waiting for state funding to complete the project. Sutter Creek Plaza Committee, the SCPC, will be meeting January 16th at 9 o'clock at 11 a.m. That's in Sutter Creek, the community building at 33 Church Street, Sutter Creek. And the committee is tasked to review and make recommendations to the city council on how to best accomplish the following tasks. And they're listed in the order of priority. One, work with the newly formed City Historic Artifact Committee to help secure place and fund the artifacts from the Argonaut Mine. Two, downtown master plan. The SP ranked that the SCPC will continue with their efforts to have Cal Poly provide a cost estimate on preparing a comprehensive downtown master plan for Sutter Creek. Third, fund rising and current writing. And the SCPC will develop a plan to fund numerous projects that are needed in Sutter Creek. Projects included our historic artifact placement, the downtown master plan, the plaza in front of City Hall, including the walkway along the side City Hall, the renovation of the old Sutter Creek School, the South Main Street parking lot, and a city walking tour. And fourth and finally, the City Council report. The SCPC will report to the City Council with their findings and give recommendations on how to best accomplish the above tasks. The public is encouraged to attend and provide input. And the Jackson City Council regular council meeting is scheduled for Monday, January 14th. 7 p.m. at Jackson City Hall, 33 Broadway in Jackson. On the agenda for discussion and possible action are the following items. The presentation of the FY 2011-2012 City Audit. Next up is the adaption of the GASB Statement, number 54. That's the fund balance policy. The third item on the agenda is a request from Operation Care for Color Madness 5K Fun Run on February 2nd. Next up is a letter opposing Caltrans relinquishment of State Route 16, that's Jackson Highway, in the areas of Sacramento and Rancho Cordova. Following that will be an informal presentation on circulation improvement and transportation impact fee update workshops. Last on the agenda will be the City Council Committee assignments, a review and to provide feedback for the appointments. Heidi Jacobs, Senior Administrative Assistant of the Amador County Planning Department, reports that the Amador County Technical Advisory Committee meeting scheduled for January 14th has been canceled. 
Well, the Amador County Master Gardeners will present two free classes beginning at 9 a.m. on January 19th. If you live on sloping property, Hillside Landscaping will show you how to improve your site through terracing, erosion control, and inclusion of diverse water-wise plantings. Next, learn proven techniques to identify and battle star thistle in the foothills. Timing is highly important in the attack on this pervasive invasive weed. Open to all, these classes are held at the GSA Building 12200B Airport Road in Jackson. For more information, contact the Master Gardeners at 223-6838 from 11 to noon on Tuesdays. Make that 9 on Wednesdays and Thursdays or email mgamador at ucdavis.edu. And... Get your kids in the swing of things. The Amador Junior Team Tennis is now accepting registration forms for the spring 2013 season. The league is for boys and girls age 7 to 14. League play takes place on Saturday from April 13th until May 18th, and practices begin in March. The Early Bird Special reduces the regular $65 registration fee by $10 if you register before February 15th and for more discounts for siblings too. So for more information, please contact Dan Kelment at 257-1950. Registration forms can be downloaded at www.amadortennisclub.org or you can pick up a packet at Jackson City Hall it's the game of a lifetime. That's tennis. And uh, let's take a look at our weather. Boy, we've had some really chilly nights here in Amador County. Today we're having a sunny day, and if you're sun in the sunshine, it feels nice and warm. But uh, we have a high of 47 with a low of 28. Winds out of the west at 3 to 5 miles an hour. And on Tuesday, sunny with a high of 52, low of 32. Winds out of the west 3 to 5 miles an hour. And on Wednesday, sunny with a high of 55, low of 35. Our air quality index report, the ozone levels today are moderate at 79, but tomorrow look for them to be unhealthy for sensitive groups at 103. For burn day information, to make sure it's a burn day to burn your yard waste, give a call at 223-6246. I'm Tom Slavik. When we come back, we'll have our weekly interview, I mean our daily interviews, so stay with us right here on TSPN. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.